Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and we've established now, we've broken out above the middle band. What we did yesterday, you know, we talked a few days ago about how we were going to go ahead and do a test of 1646. And what we did was we tested this area here, the 1646 to 1649 area, which was the the small pop right after the FOMC announcement and the failure in that area was what began this move down to the 1553-1554 area. We've now completely round trip that and gone back to test it. So I want you guys to think about that for a minute. Think about what your mindset was down on 1553-1554 and remember what we talked about then how we had moved from 1340 quarter up to 1685.75 and that this move down to 1553 was a 38 percent retracement in an uptrend. The uptrend was still intact. Yes, it was a scary few days, but the uptrend remained intact. And so you had to ask yourself, you know, what was more likely to happen? we fall off the cliff into the abyss or that we go back up and test the middle band. Well that was step one. We went back up and we tested the middle band. 1593 area held up and now we went all the way back up to test exactly where we are and we are exactly where we are when that pullback started. So when it seems so scary in the moment like it was on that Monday, you've really got to zoom out look at the charts, see where you've been, see where you're going, and ask yourself if there's an overall uptrend that's still intact, or conversely, if there's an overall downtrend that's still intact, which is the question you have to ask yourself in gold every time it rallies. You know, do I want to buy this strength to go higher in gold? Yeah, well, there's there's a lot of roadkill of people that are doing that. Just like there's a lot of roadkill of people that sold that 1553-1554 area thinking it was the, the, the prelude to something much, much deeper. Um, I'm expecting a two-sided trade this summer, and I, you know we've been getting it, and I, I really expect it to continue. So where do we go from here? The bulls can't leave it like this. They can't leave it at 49. That's too, it's too classic a double top. And if they roll from here, we should get back to the middle band fairly quickly down at, at 1613. Um, if we get over, um, if we get over the 50 area with any kind of authority, I fully expect us to to trade up and through this upper Bollinger Band up into the 1663 area before we see any kind of a meaningful pullback which will create a very interesting situation on the daily chart. That, a move up above this high that then pulls back towards the middle band could be the beginnings of a, of a wedge on the daily chart, which are fine to trade. If you're, if you're, if you're an intraday trader, that's great because you get a lot of two-sided action, uh, but they're very difficult to deal with if you're a longer-term trader because it gets very, very choppy and it becomes you know, really hard to hold things uh, on a longer-term basis. The only other thing I'll point out is you've got the 20-day and 50-day, uh, the 50-day the exponential moving average and the, and the middle band are, are, are synced up here. Um, I will, uh, we'll talk a little bit more tomorrow about what I call rainbows and spaghetti. We've been in rainbow mode for a long time. We had spaghetti back here and it looks like we're headed back into spaghetti and that would be another feather in the cap of a potential wedge over the course of the summer. So everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com. Uh, check out the website. Check out the chat room. We were all over uh, those 38s yesterday down at, at 1030. Got a really nice uh, trade for everybody. Um, you know, two-week free trial. Come on in. So uh, I will catch everybody tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well.